So I just rolled out of bed, put my mat down next to my bed, and I'm feeling a little tight in the shoulders this morning. Do you ever sleep kind of funny on one shoulder? There was probably something else going on that made me sleep in kind of a funny way, but I'm going to make up a quick practice here, see if I can work it out just a little bit to feel a little better before I start my day. I'm going to start standing again. I like to do that in the morning. Feet are underneath my hips. I'm going to just breathe in really deep. As I take my arms up overhead, feel the nice length in my body. As I exhale, separate all the clouds out of the sky. Press my arms out and down. Release everything from the lungs. Do that again. Breathe in. Sweep the arms up. Filling up the lungs as best I can. Pause for a moment at the top. Hands touch. Exhale. Push the hands apart. All the way down by the sides. One more time. Breathe in. Arms come up, 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 up. Exhale. Push them apart and down. I'm going to clasp them behind my back. So you've got to squeeze your shoulder blades together a little bit. Bend your elbows to start. Interlace your fingers. Try not to arch your lower back too much. I'm going to drop my chin to the chest and maybe straighten the arms. Maybe they won't go. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. Take a deep breath into your chest and then bend your knees a lot. Going into a chair. Put your weight into your heels. Bring your chest forward after your knees are bent. Begin to... Extend the legs, straightening them. Doesn't have to go all the way straight. And then reach your hands to the sky. Don't force them over your head quite yet. We're just waking up. Take a breath. And then fingers touch the ground. Bend your knees again a lot. And then with a round spine, roll up to standing. After your head comes up, lift your arms again. Breathe in. Exhale, sweep the arms out and down. Do the same thing. Clasp. Breathe in. Lift your chest. Breathe out. Bend your knees a lot. Bring chest to thighs. Lift your hips. Drop your head. Again, reach your fists up towards the sky. Relax your head down. And fingertips tickle the floor again. Bend your knees round through the spine to roll up to stand. We'll do that one more time. Arms come up. Breathing in. Sweep out to the sides. Push, push, push down. Clasp the hands. Lift your chest. Bend your knees. Exhale. Forward bend. Fingertips to the floor. Let's step back with the right foot and the left. Downward dog. And just lifting one heel as you bend the opposite knee, taking a really slow pedal. Keep breathing as you move. We're not trying to actually move a bicycle forward, so you want to just move slowly until you feel some sort of change or release. Good. And you can extend both legs. I'm going to keep my knees slightly bent just to emphasize the length in the spine rather than trying to get my legs straight or my heels down. That doesn't really matter. Come into a plank pose. You start to feel your strength. You can actually start to relieve some tension. We need both strength and length to relieve tension. Bring your knees to the ground. Shift your hips back till they're over your knees. Point your toes back and step, step your hands forward to come into heart chakra pose. You can put your forehead on the ground, or maybe if you're really long in the torso like me, chest and chin will touch the ground. Don't let your arms get lazy. Keep pressing your hands down into the floor. And then go ahead and lift your chest and slide forward into Cobra. Take your hands behind your back again. Tuck your chin slightly. Keep your hips and feet 
on the ground as you lift your chest and then drop your chin a lot. Let your head just totally drop towards the ground as you keep your chest lifted. And then press your hands right by your chest. Knees tap the floor. Go back into downward facing dog. We're just going to walk the feet towards the hands. Bend your knees round the spine to roll up. Arms come up. This time grab your right wrist. Take a side bend to the left. Squeeze the left side of your waistline so that you can elongate the right side. Breathe in through center, switch hands, squeeze the right side of your waistline as you side bend to the right. Left side will lengthen. Do that again, come up through center. Switch hands, but grab your right elbow instead. Oh boy, we've got animals waking up outside. Inhale up through center. Bend your elbow. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Over to the other side, over to the right, grabbing your left elbow. Let's do that again. Up through the side, up through center, excuse me. Bend your right elbow, grab it. Squeeze the left side of your waistline. Press both feet down. Good. Breathe in through the center, arms up. And then over to the right, grab your left elbow. Arms up, rise up, hands behind the back, same way to come down, interlace your fingers, bend your knees a lot, chest and thighs, fists up to the sky as you fold and drop your head, fingertips to the floor, step, step back to downward dog. Press your hips back in a really long spine, knees can soften a little bit. Come into plank pose, pause, just find that length from head to heels, then tap the knees down, press your hips back again. This time we're going to press them all the way back and I want you to take your knees wider apart, maybe even as wide as the mat. Coming into a, a modified child's pose, turn your palms to face up and bring them closer together. Maybe your pinkies touch, you don't need to. I want you to find the space across your upper back, kind of across the shoulder blades, and you're going to rest your chin or your forehead on the ground. From here, just breathing really, really deeply. You want to try and fill the whole width of the rib cage. As you're in this shape. So every time you breathe in, really filling, filling, filling with inhale, can you feel your wings kind of expanding? You'll feel some stress and tension on the shoulders, hopefully relieving any kind of knots. Exhale, letting it out all the way. We're gonna change the shape just a tiny bit. Bring your palms together like a prayer and send your fingers up towards the sky. See if it's possible to inch your elbows forward just a tiny bit maybe just half an inch re-relax your head breathe last time deep breath and extend the arms again bring your hands in come up into a table position bring your knees back underneath your hips breathe in look forward like you're trying to pull your chest through the frame of your arms as you point your toes back. Breathe out and round like a cat. From head to tail, lifting up through your core. Good, breathe in, chest forward, hips moving backwards. Breathe out, round from head to tail. Do that one more time. Cat cow. Inhale into that cow position. Exhale and round. And relax back into a child's pose. Rest your hips to your heels. Extend your arms. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Deep breath in. 
Exhale all the way out. Empty your lungs completely. And then just relax for a moment. Welcome to stay here for another few moments or minutes. Or maybe you're ready to move on with your day. Take your time. Enjoy. Ready for yoga? Yeah.